I'm sick of you ducking me, Undertaker. You know I'm the most dominant superstar in SmackDown, and you know you can't prove me wrong. You think I'm afraid of you, little man? I can't count the number of superstars who have tested themselves against the dead man and come up short. If you insist on making this mistake, then your grieving family will have no one to blame but you when the inevitable occurs. You know, Mr. Mac Militant. Come and get it all. Here comes SmackDown General Manager Teddy Long. Let me holler at you, players. Now, you've obviously got some unfinished business with each other, and I respect that. But I also respect that there's a third superstar involved in this who would not have been involved if I didn't make him the special referee for your match two weeks ago. So tonight, for our main event, I'm giving him the chance to prove himself against you, Benoit, one-on-one. -on -one. And I've got some big plans for No Mercy that involve the three of you. Holla, holla, holla. What is Tilo talking about? I have no idea, partner. But if I know our general manager, they're going to be huge. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 234 pounds, Chris Benoit. And the opponent, from Washington, D.C., weighing 317 pounds, Batista. Cole here with Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Absolutely, Cole. You know what? I've always wanted to say this. Houston, you got a problem. Actually, you don't have a problem because SmackDown's in town. You've got that right, partner. The Space City loves SmackDown, and the superstars are not going to let them down. Not the opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Look at this. He's got this crowd behind him. And now he's going to come back. Shoulders down. This could be it. Put shoulder off. This is supposed to be a wrestling match. Not a Here's your winner. Batista. What do you want, Taker? Save your hostility for the ring, Benoit. I came to tell you that I look forward to laying our differences to rest at no mercy. Aren't you forgetting about somebody? He is a distraction. This began between the two of us, and by all rights, it should end between the two of us. I hope you're not suggesting that we form some kind of alliance. Because I don't care which one of you I have to force to tap out tonight. I'm not suggesting anything of the kind. I've said all I came to say. Actually, there is one more thing. I hope you have no illusions that you will make me submit tonight.
here comes Chris Benoit, Taz the Rabbit, Wolverine looks even more intense and focused than usual for tonight's triple threat match. Of course he does, Cole. There's a lot at stake here tonight. A lot of pride on the line. Benoit must avoid losing to one of his opponents tonight in order to continue to no mercy. And if he wins, he gets to choose the no mercy match type. You've got to think that a triple threat match like this would favor a superstar like The Undertaker, Taz. It's hard enough to garner a victory over The Undertaker in the best of circumstances. Maybe, maybe not. I know the other two guys in this match don't see eye to eye. But if they decide to team up against him, it could be bad news for the dead man. Talk about your rotten luck. It was an order from Teddy Long to put this man in the middle of a rivalry between Benoit and The Undertaker. And he's been paying for it ever since. You see it as a bad thing, Paul. But I see it as a good thing. Let's face it. Even if he loses here tonight, an impressive showing against superstars like Benoit and The Undertaker counts for something. You know what I mean? Welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area code here. I love San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action. And we couldn't be more excited to be here. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. To build some momentum at the same time. You really got to watch out for the opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Chris Benoit has a great deal of confidence in his abilities, but I've never got the sense that he's got a swelled head cast. Absolutely not. This thing that they had going with the Undertaker, it wasn't about talking dread. It was about getting the respect he deserves for the career he's had. And tonight at No Mercy could be another one of the many high points in the career of Chris Benoit. take anything away from his Taz, but I don't think many people expected him to make it to No Mercy. I gotta agree with you. Again, nothing against the guy, but he went up against two of the greatest superstars in the history of the business. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Oh, my God! What a Batista! 